Hello again and welcome to my channel and this time I want to take you to a different place I want to take you to a suburb of Osaka uh, near a town called Sakai and over there we're going to take a look uh, back to the past how they are doing uh, how they're making uh, traditionally kitchen knives uh, I will explain a little bit on the way there's many surprises please stay with us and don't forget to subscribe Good morning, uh, we just arrived to Sakai City. Uh, we have about a 10 minute uh, drive until we arrive to where we wanna go to. Let me tell you a little bit about Sakai City. So Sakai City is the biggest um, suburb of Osaka. It's located in the south, just next to the Yamato River. Now Sakai has a very, very long history. It has a 2000 year history and uh, the biggest graves in the world are located in Sakai, um, the, the coffin, which are graves that are shaped like a keyhole. Other than that, Sakai is very famous for their katana swords that they used to do a long time ago, and they used to make rifles, which shows you a lot of the a lot of the European um, uh, the European um, influence that came through the city of Sakai. A lot of Europeans used to anchor their boats here. One of them was Francis Javier, which uh, documented Sakai city in his uh, memoirs. Sakai City used to make the best guns in Japan, which made the Oda Nobunaga really like this town and actually made him take over and burn the whole town. The town was burned three times, one by Oda Nobunaga, the other time, 1615, it was burned down um, in Osaka no Natsu, the summer of Osaka war, and then it was bombed in the Second World War. For the last 400 years, uh, the people of Sakai um, have been making the best kitchen knives in Japan and this is what brings us here today. Even today, most of the best kitchen knives in Japan, the traditional knives, are still made the old traditional way which goes down from father to son or by our case from father to daughter. And uh, this is uh, the interesting story because uh, uh, she's actually a lady, a very strong lady that uh, holds a whole uh, knife company with uh, more than 200 year old history. Let's check it out. Sakai City. Oh, there is Yuri. Hi. Uh, she's the owner of the of the knife company. Hello, Yuri. How are oh, you? Good. How are you? Long time no see. I just hope we're in frame. So I arrived to Sakai at last. Took me about an hour to get here. Um, this is Yuri. Like we said, she's the owner of the shop. Nice to meet you, Yuri. Uh, say hello to everyone over there. Hi. Thank you. And uh, let's go and see your shop. Is it around here? Yes. Come in. Okay. Let's go check it out. Oh, so this is the shop. Okay, let me just take a little... Uh, let me just go a little bit over there and show the customers uh, the shop. So that's Yuri's shop. Their brand name is uh, Kikutora. And we're going to go inside now. Oh, look at that, they have a huge knife here. It's amazing. Hey, wow. That's a nice little shop you have here. Thank you. And look at all those knives. Wow, so we have, I can see traditional knives here. And then you also have stainless steel, which are over here. Wow. 
So can you tell me a little bit about this knife? That's for sashimi, many layers. So beautiful. So that's a sashimi knife. And all those, is that a Damascus uh, steel? Yes. You can see all the layers over here. And that's a mixture between two metals, yeah? Carbon and steel. You can see the carbon and steel mixed over here. That's absolutely gorgeous. And what about these over here? This is, we call deva. This is for the fish bones, chicken bones, something hard items. That's why this knife has this much thickness. Yeah, it does. So that's to smash the bones of the fish. They're totally different. And this is traditional Sakai style. Yes. Single edge knife. So you sharpen it only from one side. Yes. I got it. And I can see that you have stainless knives here too. These are very popular items. The stainless knives? Yes. Well, actually, this is what I got. <laughs> I buy my knives here too. And this is the knife I have. And I have this one. No, sorry. I have this one also. That's amazing. And over here, I can see you have scissors. You also make scissors? You also make scissors? Yes. Yes? Wow, so these are all, I can see, Damascus steel. Not all of them, the, I mean all the five here on the left side. That's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Yuri, so, uh, we watched a little bit of the knives and I see your shop. So when was the shop open? Three years ago. You opened three years ago? Yep. So it's a brand new shop, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. My great-grandfather started making the knives. Then we basically do the wholesaler and the making knives. So we just started opening the shops. So you just started? Three years ago. Oh, that's interesting. So now you're selling it personally yes. to whoever wants to come. And yeah, I've seen a few, actually a few customers were coming in. That's very, very interesting. Yes. Now, um, can we go and see how they make the knives? Yeah, I'm going to take you to see how to folding and sharpening the knives. The knives? Yes. All right. So, but first of all, before we go, mm -hmm. I would like to explain to them how it works here in Sakai, mm -hmm. what you told me. I'll, uh, I'll explain to them in the camera and um, just correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. So, what I always thought, I thought that um, the person makes a knife, sharpens it, and then makes a handle. But apparently that's not how it works. In Sakai they have a system and almost everyone works by the system. So there's a few companies. Each company owns their own brand. Each company works with a few craftsmen that makes the knife. So let's say she works with three craftsmen. She has to give them knife orders. The minute they get the order, they make the knives. She takes them back. She looks at them and she checks them. The company checks to see if they're okay. If they're okay, they send it to the guy that sharpens the knife. So the guy sharpens the knife. They get the knife back and then they check the knife. So in this system, it means that everyone checks everyone. The, the guy that makes the knife have to stay with the same quality or the company will just stop working with it. The guy that sharpens the knife must stay um, doing the same good quality of sharpening knives as he did and his fathers before him or else they're going to stop working with him. And it's like a circle that goes around and it is absolutely incredible. So they work with about three people, each knife, each person that makes the knife makes it with a different quality and that's where the prices come in hand. Is that correct? 
Yes, it is. Excellent. Yes. So um, in this system, you actually make sure that everyone keeps doing their job well. Mm -hmm. And what happens if you don't have a lot of orders to give the people who make the knives? Oh, they, they're going to stop working for us. So each person has mm -hmm. his power yeah. in this system. Mm -hmm. So if you don't give them enough work, they will quit. Right. And they will go work with another company. Yes. So we have to be, keep the good relationships with each other. And let's say I may, if the guy that makes the knives mm -hmm. doesn't make them good anymore. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You stop working with him. Right. Or I'm going to tell them to be so hard. To start making them better. Yeah. Wow, this is interesting. Let's go and see the knives. Yeah, let's go. Come on. <laughs> so me and Yuri are on the way now to go and see the blacksmith and go and see how he works, how he makes the knives. And that should be very, very interesting. A glimpse to this old tradition. See you soon. So we arrived to where the knife forger is and uh, this is absolutely incredible. You can actually hear the, the noise of the banging on metal from the outside. So this is where he is inside here. Let's go take a look. And we're gonna go to Yuri Chang. So this is where the knife forger works. It's very noisy here. Very smelly too. It smells like burnt metal. I wonder if you can tell what kind of knives he's making, so he's probably making now the same knives as uh, Yuri showed us. Konnichiwa. O genki desu ka? Genki nai. Nade genki ga nai kara? Well, he says he's not very happy today. We're not going to ask why. <laughs> Yuri, so what is he doing now? I see that he's putting another piece of metal on this metal. So, the big piece of metal is the iron and then the carbon, yeah? Wow. So you add iron to the carbon yeah. to make it stronger. Yeah, right. So the carbon breaks down quickly. Right. Oh, that's very interesting. Another no kakui kao mitakata. It's such a good name. He's been working here for 37 years. And is his father also makes uh, knives? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, so. Two years. Two years. Two years. Now. If we check the temperature with his eyes, he doesn't have any thermometer. He's checking his eyes for the temperature. The, the temperature of the of the knife. Yes, I mean the fire. The fire has to be in a special temperature. Yes, he needs to check his eyes. 
So he knows the temperature by by his eyes. How by the color? Wow. So he knows the he knows the he can tell when the fire is ready by the color of the fire. This is unbelievable. So now they combine together the carbon and the steel. Because if you're going to use only carbon, it will break easily. This is unbelievable to see something like that. Wow, Yuri, this is, a, this is incredible. I've never seen uh, something like that before. It's uh, really, really dark inside here too. Don't they get claustrophobic? And now this, uh, this type of, uh, of art is actually dying, isn't it? Yeah, it's so hard. It doesn't make a big money, so not young people start doing this. It's so, so very hard. So the young people don't want to do it. doing now starting to get the shape incredible because the fire is actually blue the anata no tsugi musuko kono shigoto yaru yaranai a musuko yaranai musuko yaranai jaa yappari hocho tsukuru no shigoto mo dondon hette iku desu ne hedimasu Okay, so this was a little glimpse and uh, we don't want to start working anymore. So I think it's time to leave. And when he finishes banging, I'll tell him thank you very much. And we'll go see how the person that sharps the knives works. Okay, so this is the place of where the guy that sharpens the knives is. And apparently this guy is a government treasure. There's not a lot of people like him left anymore. So all the knives that you've seen the other guy makes, they bring it, they send it to the company, the company checks it, and then they bring it over here and they sharpen it. Let's go inside and see what's going on. <laughs> so under the wood over there he already has a knife and that's an almighty knife the way she called it
This is so cool to get a look at the end of it. which the blacksmith is made just like this and also craftsmen need to chop with the many steps with the different rough stones okay so he has many stones he needs to use before the knife will be ready yes. and which is the first stone this is the first stone this is so rough so that's the first stone he uses okay yes. And then he goes to the other ones, yeah? yeah? Let's see what he has. Well, these stones look very, very interesting. So he's almost at the end. Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka? Kono hocho mo dekimashita. え、まだまだ。まだまだ。まだ。ちょっとずつ、ちょっとずつ。ちょっとずつで、ちょっとずつ違うようになっていくな。おお。で、包丁一つは、あの、できるまで何、何分ぐらいかかる。一と言うたら
help help him, but it's gonna be so hard work. So he'd worry about his sons. Oh. Happy and worry. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course yeah. I know what I mean. Happy and worried. So they will keep the tradition, but you're saying there's no money in this business anymore. I mean, not doesn't mean, but it's very hard, but not eco. So you're not making enough money for the amount of job you're doing. Like you work too hard. Yeah. Very hard, but not so much money. It doesn't pay back. Right. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it's great. It won't be any money. Just be the minus. Break it. Now, if he breaks the knife, yeah. right. so he loses money, and those things happen. Sometimes, yeah, it happens. Wow, this is very, very interesting. Okay, so serious to make knife. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah. It's all right, <laughs> it's a <laughs> yeah I understand it's 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 too much hard work for the for what they for what they make I totally get it yeah wow I never knew I thought the I thought the knife business in Sakai makes a lot of money apparently it doesn't huh for some people. So boy, this ne. The nansai ma de suzuki masu ka? Inochi tsukiru made. Inochi tsukiru made wa shinu made. Shinu made. Wakaru. Koko de poten, koko de poten. Okay. Koko de shinitai desu ka? Yeah. So nice. Nice so he's gonna keep doing this job until he dies. That's what he says. Wow. Let's take a look, a look a little bit at his, at his place. So this is the the place he works at. We have one more. One more. Ah, those, those, those. Eh? So. This is the this is another place. This is where he finishes off the knives in this little room. And that's the last sharpening and you can see that uh, he uses really really thin stones. Unbelievable. This is a sashimi honcho. And this is the last sharpening that he does. So that's how he checks if it's uh, if it's ready or not. Yeah. He checks by his hair. Yeah. Okay. If it gets stuck on the hair, it's ready. If it slides on the hair, then it's not ready. Okay. Well, this knife is ready. Let's take a look at it. Hi.
lucky day. So he's gonna show us. Uh, we don't have all the time to wait here until he finishes. Uh, it's, he's gonna show us a knife that he already finished, and this knife is already finished. It is sharp, and it's ready to go. Next, he's gonna go back to the company, and then the company will take it back uh, to the guy that makes the handles and put the handle. So we're gonna have to go. It's uh, time for lunch, and they're gonna go for their lunch break. Wow! So this was very, very interesting, Yuri. Yep. And uh, well, I guess they're busy. We didn't uh, disturb them, so uh, we left quickly. But uh, as a as a lady, like there's not a lot of ladies doing your job. No. Man's it's a man's world and um, do you feel is it harder for you that you need yeah, to deal is. I need um, much power to do you need to use uh, the power muscle I need muscle <laughs> you need muscle <laughs> <laughs> but it's a so your father, your brother didn't want to take over the company, what I, what I understand. My brother didn't. Yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to, so my father was going to quit the company. But I told him, I can do it. I really want to, after my father do. So you took over the company? Yes. And now you're running the company and you're Almost. dealing... With my father, he still helped me, but basically I do. I have to do myself. Is there is there more companies here that uh, that that are run by by ladies? I don't think so. Nobody. So you're the only one in Sakai. Maybe one lady, but she's not young anymore. Wow, this is really really interesting. Um, after watching uh, how they how the um, the craftsman makes the knives, and after watching the guy that um, that sharpens the knife sharpens the knives, mm -hmm. now we're gonna go and see who puts the the handle on the knife. Oh. And Next do you know who puts the handles on the knife? I do. <laughs> she does. <laughs> so now we're going to see how to put the handles and I think everything is going to be completed for today. See you in a few seconds. So we are uh, in uh, Yuri San's um, well, factory or ex office we can say. And now she's going to show us how they're going to put the handle. So this is the this is the sashimi hocho that was just made. It's ready to go. All you have to do is uh, engrave the name of the company and put the handle on it. Now, because it's handmade, so this handle part, sorry, it's very hot. <laughs> the part of the handle is not really straight. So while she's putting the handle inside, she's going to bang on it and try to make it straight. Let's see what's going on. Well, it's really smoky. Yeah. <laughs> so now she straightens it a little bit. It has to be hot for the for the the steel to be a little bit more softer, and she puts it inside. Now the wood inside, the hole in the handle is thinner than the thickness thickness of the knife, which means. She burns the knife, makes it hot, and then she expands the hole. Okay. 
It's ready now? So this is a ready knife? This is for sashimi. This is a sashimi knife. It's ready to go. And now it's ready to be sold or you're gonna you're gonna put your name on it? Yes. And let's now she's checking if it's straight. Excellent. Ready. And this one is ready to go. Okay, so she finished cleaning, and now she, let's take a look at the handles. So, buffalo horn. This is the plastic. The left one is plastic, hmm? and this is Sorry. what? Buffalo horn. This is from buffalo horn. So more smooth between the wood and the horn. Plastic one is more rough between the different the materials. Yeah. And the price is different? This is higher than the plastic one. That's what I thought. <laughs> we're back to uh, uh, Yuri's shop. And now we're going to go inside and see how she engraves the, the name, the company's name. And then uh, anyone that want to buy can buy a knife with their own brand name on it. Let's go inside. Okay, the stamp, this stamp is uh, your company name? No, showing the qualities, the levels. It shows the quality, so you have a, uh, you have a stamp that shows the quality? Mm -hmm. yeah. What, was it like made in Sakai? Not the levels. The level of the knife? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting, I didn't know that. And now she's going to engrave uh, the name. I'm going to engrave our brand name with my hands. I used these two items. So it's a hammer and... I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. So if someone buys a knife, they can have their name on it. Can I put my, uh, my name on the knife? Yes, I can do it for you. Well, can, can you show it closer yeah. to the camera? Wait a minute. So this is a... Let's focus on it. So this is Kikutora. Yes. As you see, the stamp is ready here. And on the top, on the top over there, that's the Sakai mark. Mm -hmm. And down at the bottom, that's the quality mark. Incredible. So this sashimi hot tray is ready to go. It's been made, it's been sharp, it's been engraved with quality stamp. Um, it was engraved with Sakai stamp and of course the brand name. And we're gonna find the box that will fit, that doesn't fit. It has its own box, we're gonna put it inside and send it to the buyer. Yay. Yuri. Thank you very much. This was a this was a great day. Thank you. But it's time to go. And I know that you're busy with your work. I'm really sorry to disturb you today. And Thank that you. was lovely to go around and uh, yeah. see things and uh, show everyone uh, things about your city, about your job. Thank you. And uh, yeah, it's time to leave. So I'll tell you goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, thank you guys. Uh, I will be with you in the car. Let's just say goodbye to Yuri. Bye. <laughs> See ya.
Well, that's the end of the day. We have to leave. Uh, she needs to go back to work. And actually, I need to go back to work. Um, it's, it was a very, very interesting day. What was interesting for me was to really know that there's uh, a lot of people are involved in making one knife. And the people are still keeping the tradition. People are still working together because without one another, you won't be able to do it to support your family. And what is really, really interesting, uh, Yuri told me that when she used to go to school, uh, each child, their father, of course, does a different work. So one father does the knives. The other father sharpens the knife. The other kid's uh, father makes the boxes. The other kid's father makes this wooden piece for the, for the handle. There's a whole industry around those kitchen knives, which makes probably half of the city grow. So until today, they do keep the culture and they do make the best knives in Japan. If you're ever in Japan and uh, you're in Osa around Osaka, you want to come down to Yuri's place and get a knife, on the bottom, I will uh, I will have a link that will link you to her shop. And uh, thank you very much for uh, staying with us for another one of my videos. And please don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day.